My name is Chase Burnett. I am the supervisor of the South Precinct Community Engagement Team. Today we're at Cameron College Prep installing one of our hand-built mini libraries. This was an idea our team came up with several months ago on uh, different ways that we could have positive interactions within the community and also give back in a, in a different way, especially now because of COVID and social distancing. We've had a very positive reception in the community for all the book houses that we've put out so far. Officer Corman had the idea to do book houses. I have a background in construction, uh, have a background in design as well. We came to my house because I have most of the tools to do the work. We sat down, did some brainstorming, came up with a plan for them. We then went to Home Depot for lumber and other building supplies, paint, plexiglass, the hardware to go with it. Then we brought it out to my house, laid it all out, got tools together, and as a team, everyone did a little bit, and together we made all the book houses. This is our fifth mini library that we have installed within South Precinct's area. We have three additional that we're looking to install in the near future. The first thing we do is we get all the tools out. We look at our blueprint. We start with the biggest portion, which is the, the plywood, and we draw out our walls, the main construction of it, lay it all out get our lines down, everyone takes turns cutting it, so that way everyone has a little piece that they've worked on on every book house that we do. Once we get all the main lumber cut, then we cut the support lumber for it. Then we begin to paint it. We build a door from scratch, and then we use some scrap tin roofing that we're able to acquire for the roof. The most recent project that we unveiled, we did a pantry, a food pantry in front of South Precinct, where we have a full pantry inside. We wanted the community to have access to a food pantry 24 hours a day, not necessarily having to flag one of us down and say they need something. They can come by the precinct and look at our non-perishables that we keep out there as well as some personal hygiene and toiletry items that we keep stocked and all that's been provided through donations in the community as well. Being able to do things like this wouldn't be possible without partnerships we've made within the community, especially with Home Depot over on Bell Road. They've been very generous with us to donate the supplies for us to build these. They provided us $1,000 to buy the materials to build these mini libraries. The books that we've been placing in these libraries were donated to us by former and current Metro Nashville public school teachers. And also other people who've given donations of books uh, who have seen what we've done and, and are willing to, to help out and provide books for these libraries. This gives children the ability to have access to reading materials at any time throughout the South Nashville area and it's a cool project that we've enjoyed working on and look to continue to work on in the future.